Game night. Date night. Tonight on Game Night, Date Night, Nikki and me, Lincoln, are going to teach and show how to play Undaunted North Africa, a two-player game designed by David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin and published by Osprey Games. Lincoln and Nikki playing a war game? Welcome to Game Night, Date Night. Before we start, Lincoln, why don't you tell us a bit about the game? Sure. This is a deck-building dice game that is a campaign game. Um, it is the second version of this game. The first one was uh, Undaunted Normandy, and this is Undaunted North Africa. And we are each fighting in Northern Africa. I represent the LRDG, the Long Range Desert Group, which was a, an, an allied uh, group that was related to the Brits, mostly New Zealanders in the beginning. And Nikki is the Italian, so it looks like she's established because she's got fortresses and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And so my group is trying to get in here, and Nikki's group is trying to prevent me from doing that, and then taking out a couple of my main guys would be the main focus of what she's doing. Right. This version introduces vehicles, which is neat because it gives you, your unit, something else they can do based on what you have available in the vehicles. The game includes 11 scenarios that you can track in the book to see who wins the campaign. It's all historical yeah. based. And the, these uh, each scenario is designed to represent a certain portion of the campaign. Mm -hmm. And I believe the campaign took place from 1940 to 1942. Okay. And um, why don't you tell us how it works, Nikki P? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, the, the campaigns you can play in order or you can play it, choose one and play it as a standalone. So there is that option. We have chosen scenario three and the anvil. Uh, this will show the car movement, which Lincoln just said is a, a big um, addition to, to this series of games. I've got this scenario book in front of me, and um, this is going to show you everything you need to know about setting up this particular scenario. Up at the top are the objectives. The LRDG, which is Lincoln, is going to try to claim one objective point, and that is these flags that are here. So if he can get in and get one of these, then he has uh, won yeah, the control that. Contro you have that to control location. it and get that one point. Uh, for me, the Italian objective is to take out his sergeant and staff sergeant. It says neutralize, so that is pretty much getting them out of the game, and then I would win this particular scenario. And below that are the cards you will be using in this scenario. Uh, you can, it'll tell you which cards are going to be in your starting deck, which is shown with the D. And then there is face-up cards that are your supply that you will add to your deck as the game goes on. At the bottom here is showing you the vehicles that you are going to have for this particular scenario. This is showing you the setup of the tiles and the terrain, as well as where your units will be in this particular scenario. Some of Lincoln's units start in vehicles and my units are actually gonna start in this fort up above which we have set up. One thing to point out is that the tiles are double-sided and you need to pay attention to whether they are asking for side A or side B of a particular terrain type. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> You are also going to have scout tokens assigned to certain tiles at the beginning of the game. These are areas that you have already supposedly checked out and you know what's in that area. The other side is going to show that you have control of that tile. Lincoln, why don't you tell us about our forces? Sure. We each have these decks that we define predefined. The reason why these are visible lets you know what you have left particularly Nikki's trying to get rid of my sergeant and my staff sergeants, so she needs to remove all of those cards from the game for her to win. And I can always look and see what I have, because you know, my deck here is secret to me until I yes. reveal the cards. So I can always review what I have that are removed from the game, so I can see potentially what I have left in my hand, um, particularly if I'm nervous about losing these guys. All of our forces cards have a bunch of information on them, starting with the initiative here in the corner, which we'll get back to in a moment, then the unit name, and the actions that that unit can take. This pile of cards, every one of these is identical. It just represents how many you have available to you in your hand. So you want to try to get more of them in there to be able to bring those actions up. Because these guys are, 
you know, have each one of them has something special that they can do. Right. The staff sergeant here has four different actions that this card can do. When you play this card, you're going to select one of these actions and then execute it. For example, we have the scout. The scout would be that the sergeant would get out of the vehicle, he's in the pilot truck, and then move to this location and then scout it with the, and it, that's indicated with the binoculars. When you do that, you add one uh, fog of war to your deck, yeah. to your discard pile, and what that does is it gums up your deck, and it's not useful at all except you can use it for initiative if you want. It's the <laughs> lowest card that you have in your deck. Then you have attack, and attack would be that you would attack other units or vehicles, and we'll talk about that when we actually talk about attacking. Then there's control. So the unit needs to be in the space where the token that they want to flip over and control, and they would flip it to the other side. And then recon. Recon is the only way you can remove Fog of War cards out of your deck, and you do you do that, and you'd immediately remove it out of your out of your hand, and then draw another card sure. from your pile into your hand. That goes completely out of the game, right? I believe so, because I guess you're getting knowledge of the board, and then okay. you don't, you're not going to come into the game anymore. All right. When you do scout an area, there needs to be no enemy forces. There can be an enemy token there, and if I were to take control of that area where there were no enemy units. I'd flip it over for control, and then the other one would flip back to the scouted oh. location. So it doesn't go away, so you could come back in and take control of it if you need to. Then we have the sergeant. He has a few other different things he can do. One is move, which is just move the sergeant from one location to another. You can move one space. But he couldn't move into an area that wasn't already scouted, correct? correct. Yeah, you can only okay. move into areas that are scouted. Uh, the other one is attack, which we'll get to in a little bit. And then control, same thing that the regular uh, the staff sergeant can do. And then there's demolition. Demolition is a way that you would deal with buildings or vehicles, and you need to be at the location to do that. We'll get to that when we actually um, talk about our actions. Then on the scout, we have scout, which allows them to do two up to two movement, okay. and actually reveal those, uh, flip the scouted tiles on those, put them on there. Then there's attack. Then there's conceal. Conceal allows you to take a fog of war card and stick it oh. into the opponent's deck. So, so you, you would can, take. Right, I can gum up your deck and I put it into your discard <laughs> pile. And then recon, which is also allows you to remove fog of war, just like the staff sergeant has. Then we have the sniper. The sniper has stalk. Stalking allows you to, is one time you can move into an area that you do not have scouted. He can move into an area and try to get into like take out units. That's part of the, um, you know, the, what the sniper would be doing. And then it has the attack, which allows you to roll three dice, which we'll get into in a moment. And then conceal, which also is put another fog of war into the, your opponent's deck. Then we have the machine gunner. The machine gunner, we know move, we know attack. We have suppress. Suppress is taking, shooting at a target and then hoping to flip it over to the other side where they're unable to do anything until they mm. have that, your opponent has that card, and then they all they can do is play that card to flip it back over, and then that is it. Okay. So it's basically, you know, um, puts them out of commission. And then we have on that one repair. Repair is to fix your vehicles. So let's move on over to vehicles. <laughs> your vehicles have, let's put these folks back in here. Sure. Staff, sergeant, sniper, and sergeant. Each of these vehicles includes some very powerful actions. You have drive where you can move the entire vehicle up to two spaces. This is the patrol truck. Can only move into spaces that you have scouted. Then you have navigate. Navigate is sort of like scouting. So you would pick a location that is adjacent to the vehicle mm -hmm. and then put a scout token. And then you could do another one. They need to be connected on one edge, you know, one part, part of an edge at least. Okay. Then we have suppress. Suppress is the same thing. You need to actually have one of the units in that position to do that. And you can actually do those kinds of things where you can move. If you have enough of those cards, they can move to another position and do another thing in that other position. The smaller number is integrity and the larger number is critical threshold. But the repair comes into play when the opponents target these vehicles. Mm -hmm. So when they inflict damage by rolling the dice, which we'll explain in a moment, so when it is attacked, you put these damage tokens on here, and when you reach three, it is disabled. The token is flipped over, and you can no longer do any of these actions that the uh, units are sitting in. The, you're still in the vehicle, but you cannot, um, you cannot do any of these additional actions. Obviously, you can't drive and navigate <laughs> and all that stuff. Um, but once it reaches five uh, damage, in this case for these vehicles, 
the vehicle is destroyed. So you remove the vehicle, complete the card completely and the token and the units go out on the board. Okay. And obviously once it's damaged, you can no longer repair it. So it is out of the game. Then we have one additional action on Nikki's anti-tank rifleman, which is anti-tank. So it means it can target vehicles and it ignores the seven defense and it now is at a four. So it's, you know, it's a tougher gun. Right. Nikki, then what do we do on our turn? All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is from your deck, deck of cards, draw four, and oh. we both are gonna do this at the same time. Right. And then from the four, we are going to look at the numbers uh, on our cards and possibly maybe what actions we wanna try to do. Um, we're trying to do a, choose initiative right now. So the higher number will choose who gets to go first. Right. Um, so what I'll just show it. What I drew here was a three, six, seven, and nine. So I would choose one of those cards for initiative and I would place it face down and you would do the same. And then whoever had the higher number is gonna take the initiative. So right now the token is flipped to the Italians right now. So it would stay that way. And I would then, this card's used. And then from my three remaining cards, I would choose an action to do. If there's a tie, the player who had initiative the last turn is going to keep it. Okay. From your remaining cards, you can choose which ones you want to play. You can play all of them or one or two of them, whatever you choose to do. And again, you're only going to do one of the actions on the card. And remember, you also have a vehicle that you can uh, use as well as something you might choose to do. Lincoln's already explain the scout so let's talk about attacks lincoln do you have a machine gunner card? i do here all right let's use this one so lincoln has um, chosen his machine gunner card and he's gonna attack so the number in the black is telling you how many die you get to use so this particular guy is gonna roll two dice for his attack so let's set something up he's chosen his gunner so We'll have his gunner over here. And Sorry. that'll be scouted, yes. And it's already <laughs> scouted. The machine gunner has chosen to shoot at the anti-tank rifleman. The first thing you need to do is determine its defense value. Starting with the four on the anti-tank rifleman in the shield. Also add in the two because he's behind a defensive barrier. And then you're gonna count how many spaces or tiles between the machine gunner and its target. You're gonna count the tile or tiles he is gonna shoot through and the tile where his target is at. So the defense value of this is eight. Then you'll take your two die and you will roll and hopefully you Boom. manage one of the die. We needed to roll equal to or greater than the defense value and Lincoln's machine gunner rolled a nine, so it is a hit on the anti-take rifleman. And I should mention that no matter how many hits you make, you only are going to ever inflict one wound. Also, a zero, if I can find it, is always a hit, no matter what the defense value is. Cool. So now, because I was hit or injured, I need to remove a card of that anti-tank rifleman. The first place I'm gonna look to remove the anti-tank rifleman is my hand of cards. If that is not in my hand of cards, I will check my discard pile. If it's not in my discard pile, then I will check my draw pile. If he's not in my draw pile, then the token is removed from the game and any cards that are still in my supply of that particular type will be removed from the game. I take the token, right, when I've done yeah. that, yeah. Lincoln could have chosen to do su suppress instead of attack. Suppress is going on this particular machine gunner to roll four dice. When you are doing a suppress, you are not injuring the unit. So I would roll all four. And then you're looking for just any, you're wow, you got two. You're still looking at the defense value, however. So in this, I actually, well, you only only always do one. So right. I, I did 
suppress So that if I was shooting somebody. the gunner here, sure. I would flip it over and that would be... The suppressed side. So then he's no longer able to do anything? Right. Until I can play his particular card and then I would play it and that would be the only thing I'd do with and that card. Flip it back over. And then he would flip back over. Okay. Other actions you can do on this card is move, which would be moving this gunner to an already scouted location. In this instance, it's one. Right. The other thing that I could have, or Lincoln could have chosen to do, is do a repair, which he already went over. Next, let's look at an anti tank attack. So if I had chosen to play oh, my anti tank be, rifleman. Gotta be back in the game, yep. Sure. Okay. <laughs> this Number two, with the circle around it, is indicating an armored attack. So when you're shooting at a vehicle with this particular gun, you are going to look at the shield with the outline around it. So it's a four instead of a seven. You'd look at where you were shooting for the defense value. We count the range, which is going to be one, two, three. Then you want to check for cover bonus, which this one is actually zero. But if the truck had been in this you would add a one to it. So right now we're zero. Then you're gonna add the armor defense, which is a four. So all in all, it's seven. You're gonna take two die right. and roll them to see see what we do. Any damage? Yep. We got a nine. So you have now hit this. Right, and then I would need to put damage on the uh, vehicle. Yes. When you cause damage to a vehicle, you are also going to injure the pe one of the persons in that vehicle. In this case, there's only the staff sergeant, but I would be able to choose which one to Okay, and then I would, I would dump, just like you did, I'd take one of the cards and put it out and right. take it out of the game. Starting with your hand and right. going through until okay. you get one. Well, I'll pretend it's this sergeant. He's okay. out. Okay, the last type of attack we have is uh, demolition. It's a little more difficult because you have to be at the location in order to do a demolition attack. Demolition is an attack against a vehicle or a structure. This scenario doesn't have any uh, additional structure tiles, but we do have some right here. So a structure um, is going to have the dotted line around it, which it shows here in the demolition with the dotted line around it is a two. The solid line is for a vehicle. So you would look at this number like we just showed earlier. So you would roll two dice against the defense value. Okay. So in this case, you need four for the patrol truck or, or seven or six against these structures. Yeah. And there's also no cover bonus for demolition. Okay. There's also a strafe attack, but it's not in this scenario. Here's the card for that. Let's move on to command cards. Command cards are the cards that have the stars on them. So this is actually a command card. Um, and then these two from my hand are oh, command we'll cards. This, this yeah, scenario. that we'll yep. actually have in this scenario. Let me clean some of this up. So I have a platoon sergeant and I have a squad leader and they are both commanders. You will always have them. You don't lose them. There's three things that these cards can do. They can bolster, they can command, or they can inspire, so you can see them all on, th on those. If I played the platoon sergeant, I can choose to do the bolster, which would be I could take up to three cards from my supply and put them in my discard pile. If I chose to bolster with my squad leader, you can see there's a little A next to it, which means I can take up to two cards from my supply, but they have to be part of the squad A. So these cards. Right. Um, I also have some other cards for other scenarios, which has like a T squadron in it as well. Another action I could choose to do would be uh, to command, which would mean I can draw up to two cards from my deck and put them in my hand and start using them right away. Another action is to inspire. What I can do with this one is take back a card I had, I had just played this turn and play it again. It's inspiring those units to take a second action. And pay attention, this one does have an A next to it, so I can only do that with my units. I imagine in your case, this game, it's this, this one scenario is all A's, yeah, for but... this one, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. 
you're going to discard all of the cards that you drew in this round, so you might as well play as many as you can. We should also mention moving seats on a vehicle. If, the, say I have a Staff Sergeant card, which I do here, and I decide I want to suppress, so I would move to that position and then do the suppress, I would roll a three die, select a target, figure out the defense value, and then roll the dice. But if I wanted to exchange a seat with another unit, I would play that card and that would be the only thing I could do. So my sergeant, I'd play that and I would move to, I want to go to navigate for whatever reason and I'd move that over there and that is all that you do with that unit. So the, I could do more than one thing. So let's say I was, I, let's say I had another uh, staff sergeant and he was in this position. I can play the staff sergeant, I can drive my vehicle several spaces, which they're buried here. And then I could play, the, if I had it in my hand again, I could play it, or if I used Inspire to get it back into my hand, I then can move to another position in the vehicle and then take that action as well. And do like the suppress action. Right. Okay. I think there's only one other thing to mention, and that would be sure. Hunker Down. How does that work, Nikki P? That is Hunker Down. Hunker Down, you will take a card from your hand and you will put it back into your supply. And that is the only thing that you would do on that turn with that particular card. You might do this to clear out cards from your deck. Uh, one thing to mention, however, is you cannot hunker down with a fog of war. Yeah, it's not one of your units. No. The only way, only way you can get rid of those <laughs> is with uh, recon. Okay, I think that's it. I should mention that every time you put out a scout token, either from the navigate or the scout, you're going to take a fog of war card from your supply and put it into your discard pile. Okay, cool. Let's shuffle our cards up and determine initiative. Okie dokie. I don't need the scenario right now. <laughs> we draw four, correct? Yes, four. Two, three, four. All right. I will do, okay. Okay. Eight. Oh, wow, you were, I, I decided, I'm like, well, which one of these nope. guys should I do? <laughs> so then it's we flip completely... the token over. For you. Okay. And I'm going to do the all my cards, hopefully. Let's see here. Hmm. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bolster. Mm. So I can draw up to three cards. So I will take a sniper. Let me put this like this here. That'll be my, this will be my played cards. Okay. This will be my discard piles and this will be my draw pile. <laughs> All right. Uh, take a sniper, machine gunner, and another staff sergeant. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I don't have anybody to drive. <laughs> uh, oh, also these with the little red through it is areas, tiles you cannot drive through. Oh wow, okay, that's yeah, yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't drive through the building You here? cannot drive through the building. Okay. Which is contradictory to most action movies, but... <laughs> so I will play... Wow, this is terrible. I really did this all wrong. Um, I guess I can just try to an attack. What the heck? It's gonna be far, so... Uh, let's just do that. Uh, let's do the sniper. He's, he's over here in this vehicle. Okay. It's, he's in the pilot truck, so it's one, two. Wow. Three, four. He's okay. Then there's an additional two for the structure and four for the... What? So that's basically ten, correct? I have sure. to I have to roll it. I get to roll three dice, though, but I have to roll okay. at least one zero to you do an roll attack. You zero. Good luck. No, no zeros. zeros, but that was a pretty good attack if I it just was. not... Uh, so we heard a, yes, a gunfire. Yeah. In the distance. In the distance. And then um, let's try to suppress it. So I get to, it's, a, it's four dice. Oh my goodness. So we already know that it's a 10. I mean, what else am I going to do? I probably should have moved the vehicle, but I wanted to get <clears> some cards into my deck. Hey, two zeros. Oh my goodness. So, so this is, anti-tank is... Flipped over. It's been wow. suppressed. That I can't cool. even. What? <laughs> okay. There you go. Is that all your cards? That is all my cards. Okay. It's now your turn. So now you do nothing until I finish my turn. Uh, I. And was I don't draw any other cards. <clears throat> going to. Wow. Well, it doesn't matter. Sure. Why not? 
I am going to take my scout and we are going to scout two. So one, two. I take a fog of war because of that. And you put the token out there. And I put my little scout token out here. And seems like I should bolster. I should have discarded all those cards. So I will bolster and I will take two, what do I want to do? Two, I'll take another machine gunner and a, another scout and I will, ah, too bad I can't inspire and then turn him over right away, but. But wait, what about that anti-tank -tank card right there? What's that? This one yeah. was the one I used um, for initiative. Oh, okay. So I can't Boom. do anything with it. Um, and then we will move the gunner one. So he's just hanging out. Okay. All right. You're bringing him to me so I can shoot at him? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So there's that. These stay in your discard. Right. And now you draw an additional... Up to, back up to four, so it, I don't have four to take, so I will shuffle my discard pile and... You didn't have four to take? No, I did oh, not. okay. Wow. One, two. Okay. And initiative again. Haha! <laughs> so it remains you. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Both of us. Let's get that fog of war out of get our hand. Get the fog of war out of here. Okay. Wow, I can't believe that worked. I thought for sure I was going to be reacting. Okie dokie. Perhaps not my, a better... Maybe there was something better I could have done. So I have the staff sergeant. So we're going to move. We're going to drive three. So I'll play the staff sergeant. Uh-oh. So go one, two, three. I have to stop because... No scouting. I haven't scouted that spot. Run, guys, run. I'm not running fast enough to my vehicle. So I can navigate if I'd like, because I do have the scout c card. Oh, wait, I have the sergeant as well. He can drive. Get both of the vehicles over there. Maybe I need to do that. So I'll bring this one over. One, two. Wow. I think I'll attack. I can only roll one die, but All my right. scout will shoot at you. Who are you? At your scout. Okay. Shoot at your scout. I get to roll one die. Come on, two zeros. <laughs> well, what was your number? Hey, it's an eight. Oh, yeah, you know, I didn't calculate it. So it's one mm -hmm. plus five, mm -hmm. so I, I would need six. Okay. And I have an eight. So you hurt me. I hurt you. So I have to go from my hand first, yep. which is the scout, so that's, that's out completely of the out of the game. Okay. Boo, because I was going to use that guy. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Now what? That is it. My turn is done. Oof. Terrible. Now I have to rethink my turn. Because clearly he was going to move first. Yeah. Um, all right. I have to attack your vehicle. Sure, sure. With your gunner. Which one? Yeah, I'm going to attack with the gunner. And I am going you to... You want both of these guys, so either yeah, one. Yeah, I do want both of those guys. So let's go for the um, patrol truck. Sure. Sure. So I'm machine gunner attack for two, so I roll two die, mm -hmm. and I've got um, one, one, two. two. Yep, no, no train. It's a zero. And your patrol truck is a seven. Right. <laughs> so nine. <laughs> nine or better. <laughs> nine or better. Hey, or a zero. I rolled two zeros. It was amazing. And you that failed. would be no. Okie dokie. Boo. Shots fired. Um, Ricochet off the truck. I will do that, and I will draw two. Command. One, two. Woohoo! I will play my anti tank guy and turn him back over, and I will inspire, but who? Anti tank. Yeah. I will inspire my anti tank guy, mm -hmm. and he's going to shoot at you again. Um, so that's two dice from here. One, two, three. three. 
These are both seven. No, no, they're fours. Oh, they're fours the because it's yeah. an anti-taint. Right. Cool. Two dice. So you need a seven or better. Yeah, seven or better. Oh, and I should say it's the patrol, the patrol truck, truck again. Oh my goodness. I need training, so clearly. What, was that? what did you roll? Two and a what? Two and a three. Okay. I didn't know if I bumped it over. <laughs> no, it was a two and a three, so okay. I missed. Okay. Um, that's all my cards. Okay. So draw four, which in this case I have none in my draw pile. One, two, three. My scout is not long for this world, I don't think. Not necessarily. Did you draw another one in your hand when you drew uh, cards? Uh, yeah. Yes, I did. So, initiative. I know, I'm, I'm thinking. Wow. This is bad. Seven. Shoot. I am going to shoot. You are going to shoot. <laughs> okay. Shoot. Okay, so I've got everybody with me since both vehicles are here. Uh, let's see. Jeez. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play command and draw two more cards. Then I'm going to attack. Uh, the sniper is going to attack the scout. Yeah. It's one plus the value, so six. I need to roll six or better. Miss, miss, I get miss. To shoot. I get to roll three dice. Ah, miss. Six, right? That's what I yeah. needed, six or better. Okay, so another another hit. He was going to run again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to get to that vehicle. I do. I think okay. that's the downfall of me every time. Okay. Um, then I'm going to attack with my machine gunner. So mad right so now. So I will roll two dice. Again, that's one plus five, six minimum. Come on. Eight. Another hit. Okay, I gotta go through my draw yep, deck. Yep. So there's nothing in the discard, right? There's nothing. Okay. That's my only one. Uh you're kidding. So your scout's out. My scout is Yes. Okay, so then this comes out. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I did not think that uh, that was happening. And my scout cards yep, gone scout, from my scout supply. Cards are gone. Wow. Yeah. That's not good, Nikki P. No. What are you doing? Uh, terrible is what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I'm going to um, inspire. So I will play my attack card with the sniper again. Put that over here. And I'm going to shoot your gunner. That's one, two. Uh, I get to roll ridiculous. three dice. So that's again four. So it's a six or better. Come on. On three dice. Come on, on six my or better. Gunner. Yeah, your gunner. Machine gunner. That's a nine and a six. So I definitely hit you there. Uh, okay. I have nothing in my hand. There's your discard right there. So right here. Yep. Gunner out. Okie dokie. And then fog of war and I'm done. So I am... Not happy right I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so I clearly I have to bolster. So I will be drawing. I'll take two of my anti-tank riflemen and a machine gunner. Okay, Boo. I'm really kind of bummed. I took out and all those, then, those scouts. Yeah. Guess what I'm gonna do? You're gonna inspire. Fog of oh, war. Oh wow, fog of war. Okay, Boo. Terrible. I'm sorry. Terrible. That was a bad, that bound round. Okay, so draw four. One, two, three, four. All right. Okie dokie. Or mom, if I say. That's fine. Ready? Yep. Okay, you're That's going first. That's happening. I gave up that guy to uh, Oh, to do inspire that, to go to, first? To go first. Okay. All right. I am going to... Shoot with... Shoot the glass. My gunner. Right. Okay. So attack of two onto, again, your 
patrol, patrol truck. truck. Yeah, so and I have one, moved. two, yeah. So it's the same. Two plus the seven. Seven, so nine. Yipes. Nine. I know. This is Do my you not odds have an anti tank guy in your are hand? Are not good. Eight. Mm. Dang. <sighs> okay, so yeah, shoot, that yeah. one didn't go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now my anti tank rifle man is going to shoot. Let's calculate the defense value. Okay. One. Two, three, three, plus the plus the four, four, so seven. Sorry, four. Yep. So that's seven, and two die. I think you're picking the wrong truck. You well, I say that now. You're Clearly, gonna hit me. you're gonna hit me now. So maybe. I don't know. No. no. How about a one and a one? No, no, no. That's a seven. Is it a seven? seven? No, that's you hit it right. Oh yeah, I did. One, two, three, seven or better. Yep. Seven or better. Okay. So that was the patrol yep, which, truck. Yeah, which guy am I hitting? So let's get hit that sergeant, of yep. course. Okay, okay. Because that's part don't of have my, one in my hand. thing. Kind of hurt one of your guys. Sure do. Sergeant, out of the game. Okay. That's it, right? And then, guess what? Guess what? Fog of War. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah, I haven't actually added any Fog of War cards to my hand yet. I only added one and it keeps. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to scout. The scout's going to navigate. So he's in this vehicle here now, the pilot truck. So we're going to put Oops. Yes. One. You don't own that. Two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three. Ay, yeah, yeah. That means I add three fog of war to my discard pile. Boys, there's gonna be a lot of fog of war in there now. That's good for me. Correct. So then my staff sergeant's gonna drive. We'll drive the pilot truck. Vroom. One, two. Could go three, but I can't go into that spot yet. No, you cannot. I'm gonna attack the gunner. So that's one um, okay. plus four, so five. I need to roll five or better. Hey, there's a hit. Okay, um, your discard pile. This is all of it. Machine gunner, yes? Yep. And that is my turn, Nikki P. It's now next round. Okay, everything. Yeah, I'm gonna, now here, here comes the fog of war. Here come the fog of war. Good. You got one card. Slow you down for a yeah. second, come on. I didn't take any. One, two. Four. Well, you only had one. You only have one fog of war as well. It's come up two. a bunch. You do have two. Why do you have two? Because you start with one, oh, you went and down then here and I scouted. Yeah, right. So yeah. oh, terrible. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm figuring out what to I'm do. Sure I'm sure you sorry. could. It's okay. Hmm. Just finish me off. Take me out of my misery. No, no. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna do this one here. Okay, ready? Dang! Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a downer though because I seven. I specifically am doing something just to save myself because um, seven wasn't good enough. I, know, I am, but I, I, I absolutely need to do this right because I think you shot my only sergeant. So I'm gonna do bolster. Take two cards. Uh, put those into the discard pile. Dang it! And then. Um, I'm going to suppress the anti-tank. Mm -hmm. So I will, so let's calculate the sure. def defense value. So that's one, two, yeah. plus two for the structure and then four for the anti-tank. So that's a total of eight. I need to roll, I need to roll at least eight or better on four dice. Come on, let's flip them over. Hey, there's a z two zeros. <sighs> so he's suppressed. Can you see my cards? No, I, is that what you have? <laughs> well, you put a lot of anti-tank in your hand. That's one reason why I did that. And then the last thing I do is uh, Fog of War. All right. I am not happy. Those are discarded. I'm sorry. I was gonna do all kinds of neato stuff. So instead, I have to turn over and okay. I have to shoot you from there, which is not what I wanted to do. I was going to move and shoot you, but I will shoot you from there. So, 
that is anti-tank, mm -hmm. so it's two. Um, I am one, two away, two yeah. away. Plus the four. Plus the four. Six. Six. And two dice. Two dice, okay. Oh, plus you have to add one for cover. Oh, no. So, so you have to roll a seven or better. Seven or, seven or eight. What did you say? Seven or better. Okay. There's a nine. nine. Boom. Okay. Thank you. So we hit that the pilot the truck. Pilot. Pilot That's truck. right. So Get that staff guy. Okie dokie. First look at my discard pile. I do have a staff sergeant in there. Good. Out, out, out. out. Of game. Yep. Out, out, out. Yep. And boo. Fog of war. Fog okay. of war. Okay. Let's uh, shuffle. Roll out. Deal out four cards again. Four. Okay, darn it. I'm not getting the cards I want. Tell me about it. Um, well, I'm now, I'm, it's, the fog of war is coming. Uh, let me think. Okay. Hmm? Hey, you're going first. Yeah. Should have spent my one. Craziness. I don't know why I didn't spend Wasted it. Why did my I do that? Platoon I spent my sergeant. One. First, I'm going to move my gunner. Right okay. into here, okay. so there's yep. a little more yep. for you to have you got to deal of with. That. Yep. And, well, you don't have control. And um, then I will shoot at you with my anti-tank rifleman. Mm -hmm. So that is again going to be uh, one, two, plus four, plus one for cover. Okay. For so the cover of so the time. So seven. Defense value, and you need to roll seven or higher yeah. with two dice. With two dice. Okie dokie. Six. No. Six and five. Okay, boo. So close. And then fog of war. Yeah. Boo. Fog of war. Okie dokie. So, first thing I'm going to do is um, command. I'm going to draw two more cards. Darn it. Um, and then I'm going to suppress. <laughs> I hate that, by the way. I'm going to suppress this. So nope. that's one, two, two, excuse me, you don't count that. Plus this is two plus four. So that's eight. I need one, to roll two, eight or better. Three. Yes. So I get to roll four dice. Come on, eight or better. It may not happen. And a nine. Two nines. Okay, so he is <laughs> What is with you suppressed. and the rolling tonight? <laughs> I just definitely don't want... I don't want that anti-tank guy uh, doing anything. Um, then I'm going to attack with my sniper, your gunner. That's one, two, three, seven. So I need to roll seven or better on three... Um, one of th three dice? Three. Okay. Come on! Hey, the ball all zeros. zeros. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Oh my gosh. I need a rematch. Rematch, rematch. Okay. This is terrible. Okay, so one hit on the gunner. Yeah. Let me go through my stuff. Machine gunner. Machine gunner out. Okay. It is, uh, oh, I'm still You got more it's cards. Still, yes. Oh, fog. Of fog. Okay. So those are all discarded. So here we go again. I got a shuffle. Oh, you know what, Nikki P? You did yeah. not put any, we did not do any damage. We, we took we took out the guys, but we didn't do damage on yeah. the vehicle. And I think we've shot each one of these vehicles okay. once. I just care about shooting the guys. I know, I know. That's what your focus is. But you know, I drove over. You definitely want to slow me down if you can. It does look better with two hits Yeah, at least there's some there. hits on there. <laughs> it doesn't look so sad. But I mean, I am stressing about the guys, but if you How hit me can enough... How you even stress? You are taking this game. I know, but you saw me do the sergeant. I was worried about him. Okie dokie. Okay. Fog of War. Hey, hey it starts I get with the you. Initiative. Go for you. Wonderful. Well, it's I basically wonderful. was figuring... That I would, I should have done that the last turn. I ended up getting this the sniper again. Mm. Okay, he's gonna wake up or whatever and start shooting. 
There's one. Okie dokie. So again, anti-tank. So one, two, plus one. Three, so three plus, plus four, four. Seven, so seven, seven again yep. with two dice. Seven or better. Come on. Eight. You Eight. hit me. Yay. Okay. So that's the pilot truck. Let's put this on f correctly this time. Pilot truck. And, and then who are you hitting? Of course, the staff guy. Okie dokie. Staff sergeant there. Yay. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to shoot again. Okay. With seven the anti take again. Yeah, seven you're probably going to disable that vehicle. Eight. Eight. Okay, sergeant, staff sergeant. Let's see here. I don't have one in my hand, so I'm going to have to shuffle this again. I may not have another one. I do not. <gasps> he is out. You got one of them taken out. Uh, halfway to my initiative. Staff sergeant's out. There you go. Thank you. you so then it. his you cards go out. Yep, he's out. That's another uh, damage, it's though. It's another damage on your... Yeah, so that truck is now disabled. Disabled. I guess they stay in the vehicle. It's but just... But we flip the truck tile. Okay. Okay. So what do I have in my hand? I have... I'm going to attack with my scout, which I didn't want to necessarily do. And... I will attack your gunner. Mm-hmm. What now, is it? It's just one die. Oh. But it's one, two, three, plus four, seven. So I have to roll seven or better. This is not going to do so great here. Three. Three. That's not good. And then I am going to bolster. So okay. I will take the sergeant, the machine gunner. No. Yeah, machine gunner. And that goes into my discard pile with these. It's end of the turn. Yeah. So yeah, draw four. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Hey, Vaga Ward, it's you again. Yay. Go for it. Sure. Um, I'm going to bolster first. Right. So that is... Um, two or three? Three well, for bolster, and I only have two, so yeah. I'm taking both of those. Yep. Then I am going to... That doesn't do it. Uh, attack with my... Sure. Anti-tank guy. I'm going to shoot at the patrol truck down right. here. So that is going to be one, two, three. Cover is zero plus four. So seven. So seven for that. And right. I get two die. That's a zero. It's a, it's a zero. It's a hit. So one hit. And your sergeant Okie dokie. gets a ding. I don't have one here. I just drew one in, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, there, it's, there we go. Okay. Out. Okay. And then I will um, inspire sure. to do this again. Sure. So same number, same right. vehicle. Nine. Nine. Okay, Sergeant, again. You might win this game. You I'm complaining surprised. that you were going to... I was. Well, I'm shocked <laughs> right see. now, yeah, actually. Whatever. I'm going to have to shuffle these again. Okay. And I'm out of cards, so. Right. Okay. I'm going to suppress here. So, one, two. Okay. And I, uh, plus two, two, plus four is eight. I get to roll four. And Zero. I suppressed yep. the anti-tank. And then I'm going to attack the gunner. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's one plus two, so it's three plus four is seven. I get to roll two dice. Hey, that's a terrible roll. I, I, oh. My duck die, my uh, die rolling luck is gone bye-bye. It's because okay. I touched the die. 
Did, oh, no, that's not it. And then the last one's Fog of War. Okay. So let's go so. away. Draw four. That's one, two, three. Oh, wow. I okay. did a fog, so. Yep. So it turns to you. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to do is attack your uh, gunner. That's one, two, three, plus four, seven defense value. It's with my sniper. It's three dice. Mm-hmm. Six. Six is nope, nope. Jeez, I'm really, I've really uh, uh, blown it there. And then um, command, I guess I'll draw two more cards. See if I get something here. Plus one more of these. Okie dokie. And I'm going to do the sniper again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On three dice. Must roll at least seven or better. Hey, Six. there's a seven. Oh, okay. Okay, so one gunner card down. Okay, um, gunner. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Gunner. Oh, and then I shuffle. Yep, and then those are two fog of wars, so I'm done. Okay. All right. Um... I have to turn this guy over, and I have to then I will shoot at your patrol truck. Sure. Um, nothing's changed, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Plus four is seven. Okay. Seven or better with two dice. Two dice. Cool. That's Zeros. A hit. I think you've won the game. I can't even believe it. I do think you've won the game because I don't think I have more, right? Sergeant. Let's see here. You you did it. You took it out. Oh yeah, right? yeah. It's true. I'm not out yet. You're not out yet. Right. Now this is a four. Right. On it's that still vehicle. right. It's it's now incapacitated. Okay. Actually, it should have been incapacitated before, yeah. but I'm not driving anywhere. And then um, I will command. Okay. So that's take two more cards. Two cards from here. One, two, and shoot again. Okay. Nine. That's it. Two nines. It's done. I don't have any more. Okay. Well, cool. Wow. That is right. That is it. I have zero. Well, what do you think, Nikki P? That was a um, struggle, actually. Yeah, I, I mean, really, really didn't think I'd make it because you came in so strong. You got rid of s my supply so quick and I'm surprised I managed to hold you well, off. Well, I didn't really. All I was mostly doing to him was you kept bringing every card into the game yeah. that you had and I was only suppressing him. That was my only effective thing on that. Mm -hmm. I was doing enough damage. If I'd hit the gunner, then I might have made it. But you notice what didn't come into my hand. My command cards were not coming up very much. I also feel that I kind of blew it by not moving. I mean, you getting that guy there, that's what you needed to do though, right? Yeah, clearly. I probably, I don't know what I what, remember what I played. I think I hit the anti-tank. Mm -hmm. Like I was always worried about that hitting me. And it clearly does the, it does the number there. It certainly does. Um, going down from seven to four is... Yeah, plus this is great, right? But I mean, I got all the way over here before that yeah. uh, got uh, damaged. But uh, that one was yeah. four times. Now I wonder why that, uh, did I have four sergeants? I must have. Let's see here. Yeah, you should have. I never made it to my scout card. Yeah, I did. Have which four is of them. crazy. And so I wonder if they put this out there as bait. So you start running for it. Well, um, I think you bringing this guy out and yeah. not coming into here was hurting you, right? You probably should have taken Maybe. the. the, the uh, Would have been some cover. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's something. Yeah. But I just. I just felt like there. I felt like there was no way I was going to win if I didn't get the big guns that are on the scout car. So what does it give I you? I felt like I had to go there first. It's only it's suppress. suppress. I mean, I don't think it's that. Like, I mean, it doesn't matter. You won the game. You did really, really well. Lucky at the end, I think, really. Well, I mean, I still rolled, but you know, you finally turned your luck around there. With you know. the rolling, I can't yeah. believe I had three zeros that one roll. That was I ridiculous. Know. That was crazy. Um, 
I, I spoiled all my dice luck on those on those yeah. crazy a crazy roll like that. Um, I also had two zeros on another turn, but yeah, the suppress is pretty neato as far as it does. You got a lot of chances to do something where it slows them down, but you really need to focus on uh, attack. And you know, I really should have had more of the snipers. I was thinking at the beginning of the game. I think I took a bunch of the machine gunners, and these guys are really what can do the yeah. the, sh the damage. Well, yours are crazy cards because you a lot of your cards have you rolling um, three die instead. Not and a all lot, though. Remember, I, I took a twos. bunch of machine gunners, yeah. not all of okay. them, and they only do two. They okay. do a lot with the four with suppress. Suppress is great because it might slow you down. But once you got a bunch of the uh, anti tank uh, uh, mm -hmm. riflemen, that that was how many did you end up having? I don't even think I took one out, did I? Uh, yeah, you did. I I don't think so. Oh no, there's yeah. four of them. Yeah, I don't think I took one out. I I kept hitting the uh, okay. the gunners. Uh, how many more gunners did you actually have in your hand? Oh, I think you would have. That was my last one that I put over right. there. I didn't have any more gunners. I actually should have just gone in there See? and shot, right? Yeah, you would have taken him out. Well, but I mean, I should have gone in there because again. then it would have been, there wouldn't have been any uh, structural, uh, uh, right, it would have been oh, right. you could have just immediate been... damage. I think I blew it in that, in that regard. Yeah, because that's always a two defense for me, unless you're right up there. And But I mean, you got, you were one more hit away. Well, my, my part of my concern was I didn't want to bring it even closer to this, but I really mm -hmm. should have gone in. Because then four is, I'm more likely to roll yeah. fours, right? And Especially with the sniper rolling three. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you already had your yeah, um, I had the, scout right. uh, token in there. So all you would have had to do, was, you were one hit away and turning that over to owning it. And you would have had your Right, objective. I really should have gone in there and, yeah. and, and tried it. it. The problem was I had to take him out, right? And mm -hmm. I was being a chicken. And not, I really don't think I was thinking it out very well either. Like, I should have brought it in. The problem was I really wasn't getting a lot of... I kept getting these. This is stalking. I can yeah. do that. It moves me in there. Yeah. I thought about it, but I didn't ever have more than one in my hand at a time. I don't believe. And I... Well, again, here's two of them here. I think I only have a total of four. Mm -hmm. So, um, I wasn't able to... You know, what I wanted to do was be able to pull up the guy again, either with the command... Uh, inspire, which... I think I used the Inspire. I think that was the one that didn't come up. Yeah, my Warren officer. Mm, and okay. he did come up before, but I think I had to take Bolster, right? When you when I needed to take it for like the 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 um, sergeant who died here, he's still here. You should have taken him <laughs> when you killed him. Ah, but um, but yeah, I needed to. I was protecting myself in that regard, and that's what I really like. I like that you these cards that are powerful in certain ways. You have to take a choice, right? Yeah. Inspire is really, really powerful. You used your Inspire a couple of times. I did. Um, that was really, really great. You were able to take out the anti-tank. Well, guy I was again. so low on cards. It, a couple times there, I noticed I was having to shuffle more than you to get to be able to draw to four. So, right, definitely. But you had a lot more fog of war in your hand because you had to yeah. move across the board. Only once I once I did that, right? I didn't. I already had these, and I was over here, and then I decided I need to try to get mm -hmm. to get there, and I probably should have done that a turn or so earlier, but I don't know, yeah, right? I, I was know. trying to deal with your scout that you had down here. But it, that's interesting to this particular scenario. I could have just stayed there and done nothing, well, you waited for you to get you there. You didn't come over here for the longest time. I was actually shocked that you <clears throat> went down yeah. here with both of your guys. You should have just sent the scout and then put the gunner over here right away, because, I mean, then I'd have to choose, right? Mm -hmm. I did take care of the scout, but I'd have to choose who I want to try to hit. And yeah. if I hadn't taken, if you hadn't taken out the vehicle, I might have brought this other one up here. And um, the downer is, is, you know, it's the same thing. They're both fours for me. It just seems like by the nature of this scenario, you are going to end up with more fogs of war in your deck than I will. Oh, for sure. I have to go across. Because you have to go there. Right. I can run out and do it if I want to. Right. But you're basically coming to me. Well, so. <laughs> then that means I need to take um, control, right? I need to be yeah. able to get rid of them out of my hand. And that would mean the sergeant, I don't know if I have control on other stuff. Let's see here. Again, that guy, you know, those are my, my main guys. So that's why they, they have that. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I could, well, actually what I have also could have done, Nikki P, was just put more in your deck. Conceal, right? Oh, yeah. I have multiple cards that can you do that. And I, did, I thought about it once, mm -hmm. I think one time the entire game, and I thought, who cares, right? Uh, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, Guns my blazing. Conceal guy 
was uh, out of the game like by round two or three. So really, I think none that's of the, the major only ones one. do it. Conceal. N yeah. Not your command guys at all. No, my command oh, you know, guys it's are. My sergeant too. Are it's, bolster it's and inspire, and then the only suppress guy I have is my machine gunner. It has suppress on it. Right, and that's a four as well. Yeah. I mean, it's the same card as mine, machine gunner, right? Mine is Don Brucey. Doesn't actually have a nice name, that last name. It's just Brucey. Brucey. Yep. I also had um, four types of troops, and you had. Um, oh yeah, you had more you cards, had though. More I think of some of them, right? Types, but anyways, I, I like this game. I like the weight of it for what it is. Um, well, we've played it once before, yeah. at least once before, and I think, I mean, it feels like almost the same game, because I don't think I've won this game. I think I had the same situation. Really? Yeah, I don't think I won. I think mm -hmm. I just, I had to do the same. I mean, it's essentially the same thing. I maybe should have chosen this one instead of this one, I, because you had nobody here. I think that's why I went mm -hmm. there. But um, of sure. course, I'm sure that's, I mean, that's what you're doing, right? It's like, oh, hey, take another, yeah. uh, I mean, it's the same amount of uh, sure. fog of war. But yeah, I probably should have dealt with that. But it didn't affect me till the last third of the game. I had no, I had one yeah. Fog of War card for a huge bunch of that. I don't know why you would do it, but you could have taken this car, couldn't you have? Of course, I can take yeah. it over. But I don't, I think that when we did it before, I did take the vehicle. But I don't know what the benefit of that is, other okay. than... Yeah, because I only have su Suppress on that. Well, Drive, I mean, that's, Navigate, and that's Suppress. What, that's what this is, too. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's, that's a scout car, that's a patrol truck. They're the same idea. Well, you know, neither one of us are really big deal war gamers. Yeah, I don't um, think I've I've only played the when I was yeah, young. I don't really? think I've played anything in a very okay. long time. I mean, I'm not even sure what really would qualify as a war game in my <laughs> my you know, in what I've played. I mean, I'll pretty much play anything, but war games is not something that usually ends up on the table as a choice. Yeah, we don't uh, I mean, man. Mark and and Aaron play those types yes, of games. Yes, they but, do but, all the time. But well, Sometimes, anyway. Yeah. Uh, definitely not recent times. But, um, but yeah, I've always wanted them. I actually, at one point in time, wanted them to come over together and do a two-player you know, two uh, episode of Game Night without either of us, and that yeah. never happened. Um, it still may. Yeah, it still could happen. Uh, <laughs> well, and I was talking about trying to do a date night with Rodney and play a war game. War uh, game with, with him. him. Yeah, that would have been funny. Um, didn't happen. Uh, but I do really like this game. I like how accessible it is. I like how... Um, easy it is to grasp. There's not really a lot going on in, no. on your, uh, you know, with each card, and it's a choice. Like it's it's tough enough with the command guys, but then you got mm -hmm. these that have four things that they can do, and you're, you know, what should I do? I never, I don't know what demolition would do. I guess if I were worried about a vehicle, that's probably. Do you have a demolition mm -hmm. card? You do, don't you? Uh, no. Oh, okay, well then you couldn't even have done that. Right. But um, there was really no reason for me to blow up. A, uh, there's no right. objective. There's no objects, and the one vehicle was never mm. even a threat at all. I should say, at least in this scenario, I don't have a demolition. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you have a demolition. I'm sure card. there's more yeah. cards. Um, but yeah, I had that, the only guy that's the demolition guy is my sergeant as well. But I knew I was in trouble. You saw me take everything, and I didn't even get my. Um, I didn't even get all of my staff sergeants in my hand. Yeah. Uh, sure. Like for some of the other scenarios, I have got some more vehicles. We have a tank, a medium I tank, I have a right? tank, and I have a light truck, and you have a, a gun truck. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there oh, are other... Oh, that's got anti-tank on it, too. Right. That'd be the way I get anti-tank. But again, I don't need it. Although it would be... Um, yeah, I really don't need it. I mean, yeah. this scenario is completely built correctly. Mm-hmm where you have what you need to potentially do uh, the damage that you need to do. I just feel I'm miscalc I should have, I mean, there's still two more snipers here. I really, sure. really should have done that. That would have been helpful because three attacks is huge. Two's okay, and I did, the one time I think I did the scout that had a single, or maybe it was my sergeant, but it was probably a scout. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, sure I could have come in here, but it's the same thing on your end. You'd been, uh, close combat as well, and you would be more likely to inflict damage. Sure, sure. Some of the other um, scenarios have like a, f a flea 
thing. So escape, yeah. Escape. Yeah. So you escape off the board with one of, your um, units. With one yeah. of your units. Um, that's these it tiles. Be on the edge of the board, yeah, yeah, it would be at the edge of the board. Probably down here. Somewhere. I don't what? know. Some of the other tiles too have um, these two. Oh yeah. Two types of. Oh yeah, different kind. Defense. Yeah. So that would be on hills. So. So yeah, these have a defense of three. So if you're shooting into this, you've got all these hills that block you. But if you're with a, if there's another hill, it would shoot into you, and it only has a, uh, one defensive value one defense. because um, because it's again a high position. So there's a lot of ways that the scenarios and what is in that scenario can change Yeah, let's look at some of the, the ones game. in the book. Sure. We, so we did number three. Yeah. That was one that one of the designers had recommended right. when we. Um, I think because it strongly favors the new the new stuff using yeah. cars. Oh, they got, vehicle. They got a tank on number two. Oops. Scenario: the hammer. They are also laid out in the scenario book by date of when the actual this yeah, battle happened. I like happened. the idea of the campaign stuff a lot. Yeah, me too. So this one is landing ground. So this has a plane. The plane on in site. it with the Does hangar. Does that mean you get the the plane card? Uh, well, let's see. What was the name of the card? The name of the card is a recon craft, so... Yeah, there it is, recon aircraft. Recon. Oh, no, it's not. No, you don't get so it. So that doesn't give it to you. Okay, okay. interesting. Interesting that it has... And then oh, up here the is all the... Di the you hammer. Know. Yeah, the different, the varying of objectives. Objectives. Claim three objective points by destroying structures. Mm -hmm. Ah. So that would mean demolition would be valuable. Demolition would be valuable in that Claim one. Claim three objective points by controlling structures. Controlling structures. structures. Ah. So that's kind of like what you did, except higher right. value. And then claim two objective points by controlling. Wow, okay. And then this is by destroying structures. Oh, that might be fun to play the yeah. hammer. It's a little bit different. Then there's the an then and the anvil. Hammer and, and the anvil. the anvil. Then we've got um, Ooh, what's this threat from right? above. Okay, so this is going to have strafing. Oh. So have the recon. It aircraft. does. Interesting. Yep. So this one is claim objective two objective points by controlling tiles and claim to uh, by controlling tiles. So there's okay. the same type of deal there. Desperate escape. Oh, so there's an escape one. There yeah. You go. There's a couple different spots for that to happen. Sure. Ne neutralize five Oof. combat counters. Five combat counters. Okay. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Some of these maybe are Advanced. longer play games yeah, too. With, I don't think so. I think the game's generally pretty short. I mean, it's like 40 minutes. It took us a little okay. while, but that's cool. And we won't get into it, but in, no, it's, let's see. It's in the rule book. All of those in the rule books. Are you talking about the uh, if we tie, tie, tie? I'm tie? talking about the if we tie, tie, tie. Yeah, it's a it, little strange. Beyond all hope. Yeah. There you go. Sure. So yeah, that's. I guess it's very rare that that shows up. I remember yeah. watching Rodney's video for the very first Norm, uh, Undaunted mm -hmm. Normandy, which is different. It has different things. There's anti. Uh, you have um, artillery or something like okay. that, which you can target and uh, blow up stuff, right. which is cool. Something entirely different. We don't actually have that copy of the game, uh, that version yeah. of the game, but I'd like to get it. Um, but yeah, this is really, really awesome. And sure. it really looks good. I mean, it's a, you know... Osprey Games makes some pretty great yeah, they do. stuff, and this one really looks uh, spectacular. And it's, I mean, I, the, the, the feedback is it's really great. Scott actually really wanted us to play this for a little while. We yeah. think we, that's when we played it, is we were trying to prep for potentially doing it. And we were prepping to do this. Yep. Thanks for teaching us, Nikki P. You're welcome, and you taught also, Lincoln. That is true. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you'll get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. Bye.